Hi, my name is Mackenzie Roth. I am a fourth year gloss major at the Alberta University of the Arts. I'm also working towards my jewelry and metalsmithing minor. I'm currently a practicing gloss artist in a uh, local Calgary collective called Silica and Soda. And one of my home studios is right here that we're filming in right now. I am a multidisciplinary gloss artist. There, there's multiple aspects of making gloss art from hot glass to cold glass to what they even call warm glass. I, I like to dabble within all of them. So hot glass would be like your, your classic glass blowing. You take the pipe, you pick the glass out of the furnace and you work with it hot. Um, I also do stained glass, which is a lot commonly known. People are a lot more familiar with that process. I do kiln forming, also known as warm glass. So that's putting the glass together, putting it in the kiln, heating it up and allowing it to either melt together, slump, fuse. Um, and another form of glass work that I do is called lamp working. And lamp working is when you're working with small glass rods, little mandrels, and a torch setup. And the torch setup will bring the glass up to the melting temperature that you need to be able to work with it. From there you can sculpt and that one's really great for smaller scale things and jewelry while things like working in the hot shop with the big, uh, the hot glass is great for larger scale objects, sculpting and glassware. So within my glasswork in specific, I like to look at the areas where humans cannot inhabit. I like to look at where like repulsion and attraction can test for dominance and in those little spaces where you see like creepy little critters, viruses, unknown. Uh, it's what a, a common literary scholar, uh, David Peake, likes to call the spectacle of the void. I love exploring in that void. So a lot of my shows that I've been doing recently have been playing with that topic. Um, I just finished with a show called YYC Ghost Stories Volume 2, where I played with the idea of um, do not seek the infinities below. And it was all about microcosmic horrors, the little creatures, micro, uh, like uh, microelectronic uh, magnoscope microscope rather, um, images and the, those little critters. And so I was engraving those on sheet glass pieces that a light could be projected through and the image would be projected on the wall. I did have a short story that went with that one as well. Um, and coming up, I have another show called The New Normal. And that one is all about um, the pandemic, new normals within the pandemic. And with that, I have created a plague mask. I'm trying to um, reinvent and re-own uh, re the image of the plague mask, uh, trying to make it less of an object of fear and more of an object of, of beauty and bringing new hope. That's what that one's going to be all about. What's some misconceptions people have around uh, glass work? Ooh. Uh, and just something that you want to share about the practice that a lot of people might not know about. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a hard one. <laughs> misconceptions about glass. It's difficult because I don't think glass is something that's deeply explored by a lot of people. I don't think it's something that, I, I know a lot of people when they when they come to AU Arts, it's something that they, they look into doing as an elective, but n no one ever really thinks of it as, as a career opportunity, right? I mean, I didn't. I, I went to the school for illustration and design and took one elective and, and that was it, right? There's just something about um, the flexibility of the medium and the fact that you have very little control over what's actually going on. It's all up to the heat. It's all up to the glass and gravity and, and physics. And it's, it's more about being able to roll with those punches and let go of perfectionism. And for me, that just turned into a way healthier way of working and looking at my art rather than perfectionism and being an ultimate control. It's just this, this letting go that you have to have with the medium that makes it such a therapeutic and beautiful thing to work with. When I think about my glasswork, there's there's one quote that I come back to time and time again that, that perfectly describes my practice, and it's a quote by David Peake in his book Spectacle of the Void. The world for us, suddenly faced with the possibility of the world without us, beyond the known and toward the unknown, thus creating the otherworldly. This act of creation results in a great fear of the unknown, or the black space that seems to endlessly push in from beyond. The brain cannot fathom the otherworldly and remains unaware of its own disappearance, slipping into those blackest folds between the stars. The world then fills this void and visualizes the otherworldly as a brain in outer space, floating motionless, surrounded by black seas of infinity.